guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl azine williams how are you all doing hope you guys are good hope you guys are fine okay guys if you're new to my channel kindly click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever i post any new video okay back to the big brother niger reunion show this is actually the last episode for the week and they talked about evictions and we had in the studio the likes of kim opa isilomo isilomo was actually um at home so she joined via video call and avela telma nelson toyo and jeff okay when i saw the line of people i'm not gonna lie i'm just like okay what's gonna go on here what's gonna happen here because the only people i know were gonna have like some issues i thought i thought we're gonna have some issues were just kim and Issy. but anyways guys it was i'm gonna make it interesting for you so please don't worry yourself okay guys so they started um we're showing us the evictions of those people that were in the house you know the evictions they showed ella's eviction they showed um um kim did they show kim's eviction yeah they showed kim's eviction they showed um thomas eviction they showed ec and avela's you um eviction you all know ec and avela like were booted out without anybody actually having an opportunity to vote for them okay so ebuka said you know, turned to EC and said um, that they had the most cruel eviction in the history of BBN. And to that, I say that is very true because their eviction was like very, very unexpected and all. Then he turned to um, Toyo, who also had another kind of uh, unexpected kind of eviction, you know, because he didn't know. You know, he said um, his eviction was kind of funny and cruel at the same time. That, like, what did he think? You know, so Toyo was like, he felt like Big Brother did him dirty, you know, that he was upset. Like, he was relaxing that, okay, since he has calculated his two people that were going to be get evicted, um, they've already called Sheyi, they've called Tacha, and you all know that was the time that Sheyi and Tacha were um, taken to the secret room, you know, and his mind, you know, people were already congratulating him um omashala was like um um that worry has saved you and all that and he was getting relaxed the next thing he heard was toyo i'm like ah <laughs> that's what he said he was like ah, ah that big brother no that big brother did not do him well though that big brother played with him like ah, ah. that when he got out he was like okay are they gonna you know he had a say that Shei and such in, um in another room so he was like okay when are you people going, actually coming to take me to God actually come to take me to my own room. Okay, so um Ebuka turned to Nelson and was like, okay, Nelson, um, were you upset about your eviction? Do you think it was fair? You know, and he said, yeah, that he thought he him being evicted from the house was actually fair because he was always sick. And you all know Nelson at some point became very sick. You know, Ebuka was like, because I uh, like did you expect to be evicted? You know, you were the Mr. Nice guy, you were taking care of everybody, you were cleaning, doing all those things, and we saw Nelson do all that. But he said because he was sick, he didn't expect anything less, you know, he was no longer entertaining that um you know he had to even push himself to do the the, the tax that were given to him, them so yeah that he didn't have any you know bad feeling you know um concerning the eviction and all that so the now when now talked about people that you, they didn't expect you know to be evicted from the house and lots of them said avela some said um Kim, mostly Kim, you know, most of them said Kim, you know, that they didn't expect to be booted out of the house that early. So when um, Ebuka asked Kim, like, it seems like from the clips, your housemate, your fellow ex housemate thought, you know, that they were surprised that you, you know, were evicted from the house that early because Mercy said that, I mean, Kim had her fans, she was a beauty queen, she was beautiful, like, who would to vote for her, you know? And she said, okay, the thing is, um, she too did not expect that she will be booted out like i mean look at her like she was good and all that um it, it was like okay do you think you know that it was your you were you came off as overconfident you know that that's what contributed to the fact that you got booted out she was like overconfident no that she didn't feel like this is who she is she had to like even though um she came into the place and she felt like somebody was a threat to her and all that that she had to like carry herself like a queen that she is she didn't actually use the word but 
yeah i'm kind of rephrasing you know so that you know giving herself that that confidence when she comes into the room so that they will know that okay this girl is confident and she thought she got it you know and all that and then because like okay did you at some point because from the female fans some of the female fans actually thought okay you are relating with the guys more you are more like a guy's girl you are not like relating to the girls and all that she was like no and all that that she knows that you know the reason why she didn't relate well with the female was because she knows that women you know any little thing that they will stab you in the back yeah she actually said that and avela um Ebuka told to avela like okay you actually nodding in your head when you i said about the female people thinking that she was ignoring the ladies and going with the guys avela last said yes you know that she actually came off like that you know and the funny thing was that she actually knew kim outside the house that both of them auditioned together which kim agreed you know that both of them had auditioned together she was sweet she was friendly she was a nice girl you know and she came into the house and she changed because Ebuka asked her like did she change say so, yes she actually changed and kim was like it's because it's a competition she's not gonna come there and be all, all lovey-dovey you know friendship kind of thing with you because it's a competition she's there to win you know avila now said it even got worse when she got her veto power she was like ah which even easy in her studio or in the video she was even agreeing you know and then i went on a commercial break so when then i came back you know it was now ec and um kim you know um from the whole conversation they had let me just summarize it for you ec said she doesn't really like um kim because um she thought that kim was fake you know she talked about the head of house chair you know that when she went to sit on the head of house chair um was her name kim just came and told her to get up and she was like excuse you you can't tell me the manner in which you know she told her to get up like that like you can't do that to me on national tv and secondly it said that she was accent that that accent that kim was like that her accent was rubbing her off the wrong way you know it said that at one point okay i'm gonna tell you guys the story hmm, people of god it said that there was a time that sadi brought out his baby picture and was showing everybody ah come and see my baby picture you know and they were all admiring that is um sorry kim now went to go and carry water and put in her eyes so that everybody would think that she's crying ah i'm like hey god did that why how how did i miss that well that's what is said that esther told her that that's what kim said and at the end of the day both of them you know kim was like um she she feels the same way indifferent about isiloma isiloma was like she feels the same way indifferent concerning um um isiloma so the feeling is mutual so they're not like um okay um who is the most boring housemate and some of them said avela some of them said um diane i think jackie but most of them um toyo said nelson and that was where nelson was not having it also was like why would you say i'm i'm boring like i'm your guy i knew you even outside the house you know and it because like okay the fact that you knew him outside the house doesn't mean that he has no right to say that you were boring and he was like no 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 it's different because like this is a guy he even offered his room you know he he actually gave up his comfort for toyo you know he cooked for toyo and toyo had the guts to come here and say that he's boring it because i was still trying to tell him the fire being nice to somebody does not mean that you are entertaining you know yeah so from there you know the talk um came over to who would you have swapped or replaced with an evicted housemate and they all said some said kim um i think it was ek that said he would have replaced kim with joe I don't know, I might not be right, but he said about replacing Joe with another person, like he would have kicked Joe out and brought another person and all that. A lot of them said different things. Then um, Jeff now said he would have um, replaced Avela with someone else. So the talk now came. You all know what happened with Jeff and Avela in the house. I think at some point Jeff offered to like help, I think with coins or something to save Avela, but he later did not. And he was trying to explain himself, you know, coming from the background, um, yeah, the background of what happened to Mashola and everything. I don't really understand everything they were talking about the coins because at that point I was busy. I was eating. Yes, I actually ate late today. Anyways, guys, but the truth is that Avela was not cool with Jeff. She actually said that um, 
she thinks Je Jeff is a liar. Yeah, she actually thinks that he that one of the things she doesn't like is somebody that lies lies to her and then make her feel as if he had no other option. You know, Jeff said that he is upset for not fulfilling his promise to Avella, but he doesn't regret it. So Avella was like, okay, if you don't regret it, so why did you call me to apologize to me for not saving me for not keeping the promise? He was like, uh, because he had to do it and blah 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 blah. You know, and Avella Avella was trying to put Jeff in his place at some point. I think Avella put Jeff in a corner because his face started turning kind of red. Yeah. Why are you turning red though? Do you guys remember that? <laughs> I think it was Mike that said that to Joe to um Jeff. Why are you turning red though? Anyways, so from there, um, you know, um they talk, Avella talked about um Jeff, you know, that it's not really because he was playing the game, he was trying to do what he had to do, you know, to be on the good side of a martial art, he and Kim. Yeah, she said that um, Kim and Jeff were trying to be like the king and queen, pointing who should be evicted or who should be up for nomination or who shouldn't be up for nomination. But at the end of the day, Jeff, you left, obviously because you did not play your game well, you know. And yeah, so then I turned to Telma, you know, and Ibuka was like, okay, Telma, you were one of the people that stood out, which we can all agree, like when it came to dancing, she was the one person that was entertaining during the dance, um, during the parties. And Ebuka said, yeah, that like you were very entertaining and all that. Now, like, and you were evicted, you know, were you surprised, you know, that kind of stuff. And she was like, you know what? She thinks that the fight between she and Sacha actually had a role. It becomes like, okay, how do you mean? So that fish fight, you guys remember, I think it was the early stages of the show where she had that fish fight with Sacha. You know, she said that because um, before the house, she didn't even have any fans. She didn't even have up to like 600, um, 600 followers, that she didn't even have up to 1,000 followers. But Sacha had a fan base. She was more influential even after the house. She had fans that were following her. And um, when she came into the house and then she had that fight, that it had a way of influencing the votes that she got, you know, that got, actually got her kicked out. You know, that um, that when Tasha coughs, you know, they just take it like that. That In fact, she made a statement. Let me go tell you people. She said that Titans, that you people are just like Tasha. And she, I don't know in one context she said it though, but from the from what she said, it's obvious she's saying, and she also said, let me not even go there. She said, that when Tasha is wrong, that you people do not come and uh, correct her, that you people just keep egging her on to continue doing the wrong things, continue doing the wrong things. But from what she said that Tasha's fans are like her, and in what context she put it, I think basically she's saying that, you know, you people like looking hala, you people like, I like Tasha. Yeah, her own version of Tasha. So basically that's what she said. Not my word, that's her word. Anyways, guys, that's basically what happened in today's show. Okay, they're going to be coming again. And yeah, she also talked about the fans, which Ebuka told her, you know what, let's not go into that. Let's not talk about fans because we'll have an episode where we actually talk about the fans. And people of God, I cannot wait for that episode. Because me, Ezilene Williams, yes, you people have, fans have, oh Lord, some fans will come and tell me, ah, isn't it? You're a titan. You're a titan. You're a titan. This one will come and tell me, isn't it? You are, you are a mercenary. I don't like the way you said it. Even in my mail, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Some of you go as if I said it be mails. But, well, that's why I still love you guys. <laughs> By the way, there's gonna be an episode for fans. So, yeah, let me know what you think about this whole thing. Let me know what you think about it. A lot of people think, oh, it's boring, but I really see it as entertaining because we've been missing the likes of Toyo, the likes of Jeff, um, the likes of who again, um, Nelson. They were all part of the show, so everybody deserves to have a fair share on the show so i don't know why you know they didn't continue from yesterday i noticed some pattern they will start they will show something they will continue the next day they will not continue they'll cut it off they'll show another one anyways guys that's about it that's basically what happened today in the big brother Nigeria reunion show let me know what you think about it yeah let me know what you think about the whole thing the whole kim and confidence the whole ec and her issue with um kim the whole jeff and avela the whole nelson and toyo telma and titans let me know what you think in the comment section so that's about it from you guys thank you so very so very much for being part of my channel till i come your way again i remain your girl azin williams bye guys